Hello, Resurrection. Today is November the 5th. It's Thursday, and this is my weekly uh, talk. Whoo! Aren't you glad that election's all over and done with? I, just when you uh, you think you're going to get a break, I think we're actually ramping up with that rather than uh, than calming down. And I am tired. I'm fatigued. I'm ready for it to be over with. And I know uh, how many of you are anxious about it. Too. I know some of you are heartbroken at the way it looks like it's going. I know others are elated by the direction it looks like it's going. We have a very diverse parish that way. You just remember that your church family is the place where you come and you're loved. Uh, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care who you voted for. I don't care if you're happy about the election. I don't care if you're sad. I care. But uh, it, it won't change my opinion about anybody. And it won't change my opinion. Uh, it won't change the opinion of the parish either. God gave us to each other to love each other in times where we're elated and in times when we're sad. And we will come together and continue to love each other. Just don't let yourself get too fatigued. I know you're. I know you're tired. Uh, let's pray a prayer for peace from the prayer book. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength is known but the strength of love. So mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. That's a good book, isn't it? You, uh, if you don't have a copy of the prayer book at home, prayer book at home, you let me know, and I'll make sure that you have one. Uh, so while we are all tired of voting and uh, all things election oriented, don't forget to vote for vestry members. I have a list of folks that I'm going to head out today and probably sometime next week to deliver ballots to people who are are homebound or people who are playing it really safe uh, right now, which is a good idea for lots of folks. So I will be uh, delivering those. If you need me to deliver one to you, uh, just give us a call in the church office and I'm happy to do that. Now, I got caught with something this week that made me very uncomfortable, and uh, that was that we had a, a we have a couple in the parish uh, that had been sick, and I have not known it. And so, I am, uh, uh, you know, I, I realized that I need to communicate with a little bit better through this pandemic. Uh, if you have been out for several weeks or even months, as many of our folks have. I am assuming that it's because you all are being safe and being careful and you're isolating and that's why I'm not seeing you. I assumed this about someone and found out last week that they really had been quite sick and it upset me so badly. So I, I want you to know uh, that if you, if you go off the radar for a while, I'm probably going to assume it's because you're playing it safe. So if you are in need of anything, if somebody's sick, if somebody needs something, y'all please pick up your phone and, and call me or shoot me a text or an email or let Miss Ann know in the church office or Pat and they will certainly let me know. Uh, please check in if you need anything. It would, it would just, it would almost destroy me if I knew uh, that you were in need of your priest and that I was not there for you because you know I, I will be if I know. All right, we're in the middle of the annual meeting. Uh, in fact, this Sunday will literally be the, the middle of it. We've been voting for about a week now. We'll continue to vote. You can do that after church, or you can do it through the week. I can bring you a ballot, however we want to do that. But on the 15th, we will tally up all of our votes, and we'll announce our new vestry members. We'll hear reports from the senior warden and from the rector and from the treasurer. It'll be a fairly short meeting. Uh, I am... Uh, encouraging folks to attend the meeting virtually this year. I think that's the safest thing for us to do. We've got the technology to do that, so we might as well utilize it to keep everybody nice and, and safe. Uh, so on the 15th, we'll plan to give everybody 15, 20, 30 minutes to get home from church after the late service before we begin the meeting on Zoom. We'll send you a link and, uh, and let everybody uh, log in. Virtual uh, attendance does count as attendance uh, for the annual meeting this year. So uh, plan on that, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. 
Now, uh, we had talked about adding another service uh, this coming Sunday, especially in the early service we talked about that. But I believe that our attendance is, um, I believe it's on a little bit of a downward uh, trend right now because the number of COVID cases is, is spiking pretty rapidly again. So we're not going to add a third service this Sunday. So we will continue on with our regular times, 8 o'clock and 10 30 so uh, don't don't come early to the early service uh, it'll start at the regular time at eight o'clock i think that's all i have today i love you i miss you i hope to see you to see you soon let me know if you're not okay and let me know if you need a ballot and i'll bring one to you all right i'll see you soon